Hi and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to look at the emboss feature and we're going to look at specifically how to create an emboss okay, around a spherical shape, sort of ball shape, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner. If you haven't seen the other video, which is the introduction to the emboss, please check that out using the card above. If you require any of the completed files or any documents uh, in relation to these exercises, then please check the description below. So if we could jump into Fusion. So what we're going to look at now is how do you create a emboss okay, onto a curved surface, or basically like a, a spherical shape, as you can see here. So if I spin this around, you will see how that text, okay, wraps around this ball shape as you can see here okay so you would have thought that would be quite easy okay like we've done previously you would have thought what you do is just create a plane on the outside uh, add your text or your pattern and then set the surface and it will wrap around okay the sphere shape or spherical shape but that won't work in the future we've got to do this in a slightly different way so we're going to use this model as a reference and I'm going to recreate how I did this. So I'm going to drag this back here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a spherical shape, which is 50 millimeters. So I'm going to go up to here and go up to sketch. And I'm going to press C for circle. I type in 50. I'm going to divide that in half using a line, so L for line. And I'm going to go up to, okay, solid. And I'm going to go up to revolve. Now there's another way of doing this which you could create a spherical shape using sphere as well, but I just prefer to do it this way. So go to that profile, center axis, and we want it to be a full, okay, 360. So we've got this uh, spherical shape now. What I did next is I created an offset plane. So as long as this plane is offset from the surface, the distance doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go up to here and turn my origins on. And I'm going to go to offset plane. I'm going to select this one here. I'm going to drag this out. I'm going to look for the different angle at the top. And as long as it's not touching or intersecting, then that's fine. So I'm going to click OK. I go back to my home button. Right, next, what I did is I then created a sketch on that work plane. Okay, so that horizontal bottom work plane. So I'm going to go and sketch on here. I'm going to create a circle that's the same size as the sphere in terms of diameter. And then what I did then, and the reason I'm doing this, you will see later, I created a cylinder. Now the cylinder is not joining, it is a separate body. So we go back to here, we go extrude. It's already selected that. If it's not selected, it's clicking it like so. I'm going to do symmetric and I'm going to drag this. Up. I'm going to go new body. Now I'm not too bothered, okay, the size of the cylinder as long as it's bigger than the sphere. So I'm just going to drag that up to there. So 35 either side, so 17 millimeters in total. And I'm going to go to bodies and I'll leave those open for now. We will go back and have a look. So I created that. Next thing, what did I do? Okay, let's have a look. So let's go to this, edit. Okay, right. I created the word sphere or any word if you want, it doesn't have to be sphere. I created that, so I'll double click on it and have a look at some of the sizes. So we've got 20 millimeters, okay, in height, and we've got spacing of 50, so 20 millimeters space by 50. Okay, and I did it 10 millimeters off. So let's go back to here. And we're going to go sketch on this surface here. I'm going to go to, I'm going to use a straight line. I, I like to add lines for my text to follow. I'm going to draw that there. I'm going to go from the center origin 10 millimeters. That's just where I want it to go. I'm going to click text. Okay. And I want the text on this path. I'm going to type in the word I want. Like so, I'm going to position it in the middle and I'm going to go bold and size that 20. 
and I'm going to go spacing if I can click it be helpful okay that's up and you've got other options here if you want to flip the text okay if you want it to fit to path you tick that it will then fit to that align okay but I'm just going to unflip this if I can there we go and what we've got is sphere click OK so at the moment that is floating okay in midair on the plane I created so let's go back and have a look what I did next okay so like I did last time I'm going to project that okay using the emboss all the way around there so let's have a look what I did Okay, it's three millimeters basically. So sticking out three millimeters in terms of emboss. So let's go back to this design, click create, emboss. What do I want to emboss? That word, faces, this face. Okay, two or three millimeters, depends what you want. And you can see that's now going around this cylinder. I'm going to click. Okay, like that. So we've got this going around the cylinder. We've heard about that before in the previous part of the tutorial and video. So we're going to look at now how we're going to get this onto the sphere. So what I did next is I removed, okay, this cylinder. So I clicked on here and I went extrude. And I dragged that down, click cut to remove that cylinder so now i've got separate bodies in here okay now one thing i need to be careful of which i just did there if we go in edit is objects we click a little arrow on there what we don't want it to do okay is to delete my uh, spherical shape underneath like so we don't want it to delete that so click ok there we go so we've still got this sphere and we've got all these sort of letters that are floating around at the moment. So we need to sort of fuse these into the spherical shape. And what we're going to use, okay, is something called replace face. And we're going to go into here. And we're going to go into modify. And we're going to go replace face. So source faces, back of the letter, okay. Target face, the sphere. Click OK. And what you can see there, if I just go back in time, it's taken that face and it's merged it into that face there. I'm going to do the same thing all the way around. So we're going to go up to OK, replace face. So what we've got at the moment is we've got this text. Now that might be the kind of geometry or shape that you want, but really that is not a emboss, okay? Because it's not following the curvature of this spherical shape. So we need to remove that. And there's a number of different ways of doing that, but I want to show you a quick technique. So as you can see here, I've done that all the way around there. That's all merging in. What I've created now is a little sketch Okay, that is offset, okay, to my original design. So I've done this 53 millimeters. Click OK. And then what I did then is I did a revolve cut to remove that. So we go back up to here. We go sketch. Go to the home. So it spins this round. And it doesn't matter which one we do it on, but I'm going to do it on this plane here. Going to see for circle. Okay, 53. So that means it's one and a half millimeters either side of there, because that was 50 millimeters originally. And what we're going to do, so if we go, and I just need to make sure, for example, if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to put a line down the center of this, like so. Go to revolve, I'm going to revolve this half, that axis, 
and we're going to go intersect and click OK. So if we drag that backwards and forwards, you'll see what we've done. So we've removed this material here. So then now that face, okay, in each of the letters is now one and a half millimeters from that face like so, okay? And then the last bit I did was just to combine those because at the moment, if you look at bodies, all these, okay, are now, okay, individual bodies. Now that might be what you want for some reason, but I want to merge them all together. So I'm now going to go uh, combine. Actually, before combine, if I change the color just to show you, and click on appearance, and it's got some of my favorites. So I'm going to grab the, let's have a look. I'm going to grab the blue and drag that on. So you can see at the moment they are, okay, different colors because they're different bodies. So now if we go combine, okay, target body, the ball or sphere shape, okay, tools. Okay, each of these, if we spin around each of these bodies, or each of these letters, like so. And what we're going to do is click join. Now, if we just click join, okay, it will now be, okay, one body, like so. All right, if we did this, if we click join but keep tools, what that will do, it will keep, okay, all these letters as separate bodies like so so what we've got is if i turn all these off okay you've got a body there which is merged but it's it's actually kept all these as well and that be might be what something that you want you might want to keep those but okay for me i want to right click right, that and tick and click okay so we've got one single body there now thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.